Welcome to ASU's University Academic Success Programs. This video will cover the topic Integration by Parts. Integration is the reverse process of differentiation. An integration of a function yields us a function whose derivative is the given function. There are different methods to compute the integral of a function and in this video we will learn to integrate using the technique integration by parts. How do we use this method to integrate? In this method, we split the given function we are required to integrate and apply the integration by parts formula. Let u and v be the functions we have separated. Then according to the by parts formula, we have i equals integral u dv equals uv minus integral of v du. Okay, how do we split the two functions? There is an order of priority in which we select the functions u and dv. This mnemonic, I late, would be helpful to determine the order of priority. I stands for inverse trigonometric functions, L stands for logarithmic functions, A stands for algebraic functions, T stands for trigonometric functions, and E stands for exponential functions. Note that not following this mnemonic would not give a wrong answer. Rather, following this order would make the integration easier. What does that mean? Let us say we are required to evaluate the integral of a function which is a product of an algebraic function and a trigonometric function. Since we are required to give priority to an algebraic function, we set the algebraic function equal to u and the trigonometric function equal to dv. Okay, I get it now. So the first step is to select the u function and the dv function, right? Yes, that is right. Once we have selected the u and dv functions, the next step is to compute the terms required to substitute in the by parts formula. After the first step, we have u and dv. We require v and du to substitute in the formula and hence we are required to calculate these terms. Let us consider an example. Let us say we are required to evaluate the integral i equals integral 2x cos x dx. Okay, here we give priority to the algebraic function over the trigonometric function. Hence u equals 2x and dv equals cosine x, right? That is correct. The next step is to compute du and v, which are the terms required by us to substitute in the by parts formula. We have u equals 2x. This implies du, which is the derivative of u with respect to x, equals 2. Similarly, we have dv equals cos x. Hence, v would be the integral of cos x, which equals sin x. Now, we substitute these terms in the formula for integration by parts. We know that i equals uv minus integral v du. This is the formula for integration by parts. Substituting the terms in the formula, we get i equals 2x sin x minus integral of sin x times 2 dx. This expression simplifies to 2x sin x plus 2 cos x plus c where c is the constant of integration associated with this integral. Okay, can we do another example just to be sure? Consider another example. Let us say that we are required to determine the integral i equals integral of x sin x dx. Okay, here u equals x and dv equals sin x, right? That is correct. The next step is to evaluate du and v. u equals x and hence du equals 1. Similarly, dv equals sin x and hence v equals negative cos x. Finally, we substitute in the by parts formula to evaluate the integral. Thus, integral of x sin x dx equals negative x cos x minus integral of negative cos x dx. 
So the answer is negative x cosine x plus sine x plus c, right? Perfect. Okay. In order to perform integration by parts, we select the u and dv functions. Next, we evaluate du and v and substitute in the formula. Finally, we simplify the expression to obtain the answer. Perfect.